Alright, starting to sprinkle a little bit, so I gotta do this video as quick as I can. I was on my way out here today at like 3.20 is when I first got here. Now, 5.44, I walked like 6 miles today. I wanted to go on a good hike. Here's the crime scene. Armadillo, nobody cared about, is now dead. So, I saw this on the way out. I was like, cool, man, gotta have that. But I was just thinking the skull. So, I was thinking, okay, I didn't bring anything with me. Nothing whatsoever, so. I was thinking, okay, tie a rope around the skull and just bring the skull back. So I kept on walking and just thinking. I was thinking that, you know, Tom Brown, the probably one of the um, most legendary survival experts ever, he... He said, oh yeah, skulls there, a diamond doesn't have so many of those, but the entire skeleton, those tell a story. And so, finding a whole skeleton is like a jackpot. Um, I was thinking I should probably bring as much back as I can. Um, I don't really collect this stuff, but my dad does, so he'll probably want it. So, since I brought nothing, I had to just uh, make something up. Um... So, I was thinking, okay, you can't make a, all bags and bags and containers are hard to find in the wilderness. So I was thinking, well, there's an old leaf trick that you just um, go through the leaves of the leaf, make a basket. So uh, I think I can carry it in that. Hopefully, carry it back. Um, took about five minutes. I got a green large green leaf and a large green stick and um we'll have to see um so I think I'm just going to pick it up because I can wash my hands on the way back it's just like handling rotten meat which I bet Gordon Ramsay does every day on Kitchen Nightmares. It's very, very interesting. It's starting to bleach in the sun. Who knows what kind of stories this tells, but I guess you'd need an expert. Like, what kind of life it led. Um, what I really want to do is I want to put this in the bottom so that there's a layer. There should be a layer so that nothing falls out. So I'm going to put this in here. Little tiny bits. Yeah, these things are worth money. If you got an entire skeleton, you can sell it. If you put it on a wire frame and stuff, I don't know how much armadillos are going for these days. And this is like, this is like keratin. I don't think it's bone because it's all curled up. Oh, I just tasted my finger. Oh no! <laughs> just kidding. Doesn't stink. I think all the meat's been eaten off of it. I don't think I'm doing anything illegal. Just a scavenger. Yeah, usually when I find stuff, it's like I don't care unless it's valuable. Cause it's not an achievement. I think this basket I made is more of an achievement than finding this. So when I find something I just sell it if it's worth something it's a puzzle to put together my dad's gonna have fun putting this puzzle together okay more skin something uh, tail part of the tail I want to get the tail Okay, this video is going on five minutes. See if I can hurry it up. We got jawbone. 
uh, missing teeth. And the rest of the skull. There you go. Jawbone and skull. Oops. It's got some teeth. They mostly eat ants and bugs. They don't eat big teeth. Ah, oh, crap. Some of the teeth fell out. Crap. Anything else? Anything else? This is a rock. This is a bone. That's the thing about skeletons is you can't find them all in one place. That's why they're so rare. Usually scattered all around. And all right, I guess that's pretty much it. Well, I let you see a video on how much my dad likes it or something. I don't know. Um, shoot a video in my dad's office or something. He has a pretty cool office. Alright, that's it.